Hey there, YouTubers! This is a public broadcasting announcement for the Dr. Sheep Space Program. The, the year is 2019. Dr. Sheep is attempting to make a rocket fuel that requires no atmosphere to burn. Will this be the fuel that takes us to Mars and beyond? Only time will tell. Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to our chemistry video. So today we're asking the question, can a firecracker be dropped into water when lit and still go? Now they can't have random to answer this question, but I feel like I'm going to explore it a little more. You see, the three parts to a fire, and to coincidentally a firework, is energy, fuel, and oxygen. Well, the gunpowder contains the fuel, that's the coal and the sulfur. However, where do you get the oxygen? You could use it from the air around you, like cars and airplanes. But rockets, and coincidentally these things, have an oxidizer on board. These have a chemical oxidizer, that when energy is added, the oxygen is free to bond with whatever. Well, it bonds with the fuel. This creates heat, which causes more oxygen to be released, which causes it to bond with more fuel, and so on and so forth, and it's a chain reaction. The faster this that happens, the more energy is released. This is a combustion reaction. And in most combustion reactions, uh, CO2 is also a product of this uh, a reaction. So, so gunpowder, what's inside of this, should go off when underwater. Maybe. That one just went off? Let's have a longer fuse on than I thought. Anyways, that one's gonna go off at some point. Anyways, so if these can go off, then why can't my latest achievement, follow me. These, artillery shells. These are like the uh, cheap, these are the really cheap ones. These artillery shells should follow the same principle. But before we can just, you know, light one of these up and throw it into the lake, we have to know what this looks like above ground. So I've set one up. I recommend you stand back. You're not wearing heat protection. And also don't worry about the pond. There's no fish in there. Okay. That was pretty and knocked over the tube. So that's what it does above ground when you do it the right way. What happens if you do it the wrong way? Get back, get back, get back. That was awesome. So, oh, that was scary. That was really scary. Now, I don't expect this thing to sink. I expect it to float, actually. Um, that's not good. Okay. We'll try my next creation instead. Hopefully it'll sink. Um, I don't know why these fuses aren't going. This is not exactly what I expected. 
in this experiment. Oh shoot, some of the rocks came off. Well, it came back to the surface. That's upsetting. Okay. Um, so, apparently, the fuses we use for the small firecrackers seem to be able to uh, go underwater. These big ones, not so much. Well, you guys still want to see things go off? I still want to see things go off. <laughs> so, we'll just light some more fireworks off and call it a day. I don't know why. Things weren't working. Anger out some way. That'll be with fireworks. We'll, we'll get those things somehow. Uh, maybe a net of some sort. Prettier and prettier, I tell you what. Oh. That's pretty. And uh, just because you guys didn't really get to see what these small ones look like, we want a few of those off too. I was hoping this video would be more insightful. But apparently, this dang wind. I'm not really too concerned. I have ear protection on there. Will three over there. My cameraman, he does not. That's a little close for you, I think. Ooh, that one kind of went through the headphones. Okay, so it's been a few days since we uh, last saw you guys. And uh, I decided, you know what? I got some new ones today, the other day. I figured, you know what? These are the ones I'm used to getting. Let's see if they work. But hopefully you don't get burned this time. Yeah, I got burned in the forehead last time. Oh. <laughs> the tree was kind of in the way. That's cool. Let's do another one. Let's of course we're going to do more. Let's see if I can get a better shot on this one. Are you throwing this one in the field? Yeah, I'm just throwing this one out there. Woo, that echo is awesome. <laughs> oh, that was That was loud. so loud. Wow, those things are loud. Wait, my hand's kind of covered in black powder, too. Don't light yourself on fire. Move, move. Oh, that one was weak. No, but you got the cool boop. So yeah, just gotta get the right ones. See, yeah, I told you they'd work. I wasn't, I wasn't against it. That one sank though, that's what I wanted. Ow, my forehead still hurts. I could imagine. My sweat's getting into it. Anyways, I'll cut back to past me, where he'll be all like, it didn't work, boo hoo, boo hoo, and the whole video's kind of boring. Bye. What did we learn today? Well, apparently the little fireworks will work, uh, the big ones, not so much and that I'm polluted a pond that's unfortunate anyways I'd like to thank you all for watching please like comment and share new videos every other Friday 4 30 p.m. central time don't worry if you subscribe we still can plant trees we might have to plant more trees after this fiasco but don't worry we're still planting trees if you subscribe so get me to 100 subscribers and good night subs for trees subs for trees subs for trees subs for tre oh you're still here i thought i told you to go home
Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tree where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.